Mike Perlman here for InfoSync World and today I have my friend with me the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 this is the Wi-Fi only version 16 gigabytes and it's 500 bucks there's also a 32 gigabyte and uh, that's more money this is the white version it's white and gray it's pretty neat and one thing I liked about this tablet is that it's exceedingly light it weighs one pound three ounces it's also very thin However, it's made of plastic, so it yields to torsional stress. While we're in the design arena, the 10.1 does not have a micro SD card slot either, uh, while the Motorola Zoom does. And the Zoom has an aluminum construction, so just keep that in mind. This tablet has a 7,000 milliamp battery that gave us a pretty good performance. We've had it powered on for over a day, and uh, let's check the stats here. We have 61% battery life. So that's not bad at all because we played a lot of games and did a lot of wacky things on this tablet. For a screen, the 10.1 has a 10.1 inch screen and it's a 1280 by 800 WXGA TFT display. It's a decent performer, it's in line with the zoom, it does not meet the iPad or the HTC flyer, so just know that right away. If you look closely, you can discern pixels around rounded graphics. For shooters, the 10.1 has a 3 megapixel camera in back with LED flash and it has a 2 megapixel camera up front. Uh, images were actually good. I was impressed with the image quality, though it's small resolution and uh, it has HD video, 720p HD video. Quality is not bad. Samsung cameras are actually pretty good, just smaller resolution. Um, so that was a plus. Now for goods under the hood, the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 has a 1 gigahertz NVIDIA Tegra 2 dual core processor and it has 1 gig of RAM. Operating system on this tablet is Android 3.1 which includes several upgrades. Too many for me to list here so what I want you to do is go to our full review at infosyncworld.com and see all of what's changed. But I'm going to walk you through some of it in my tour. But before we get to that point I would like to address a few other things about this tablet. Uh, one is it plays back 1080p videos and that's nice but it's limited to only select codecs like H.264 uh, in formats like 3GP. So it, it is quite limiting. The good news is it supports a lot of different music files, but when we're talking about files, let's talk about file transfer. If you're a Mac user with this device, you're going to be vexed beyond belief. Um, I tried to transfer files, uh, pictures and videos that I did tests for for the review, and um, First of all, the Samsung keys would not work. I tried downloaded a beta version of Samsung keys for Mac. It did not work. I tried DLNA, then I realized that DLNA is not uh, compatible with Mac. And then um, I also tried Bluetooth, and uh, there was something wrong with the hardware. It wouldn't let me uh, do it over Bluetooth, so I had to end up emailing myself everything, and that was beyond annoying and wanted to make me throw this out the window. I was able to do everything with every other tablet, the HTC Flyer, the Zoom, the G Slate, but not this thing, so um, if Samsung could fix that, that would be awesome, but for now, I was exceedingly pissed off. With that in mind, let's uh, jump into the tour. Now I'm going to take you for a spin with the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. That is the security lock screen that I set up, and uh, we have two, three, four, five home screens. And uh, this works just like Honeycomb, the Honeycomb that we saw on the Zoom, except um, there are a few different features. Here is one. Uh, so email, okay. Let's tap and hold on email. We could actually make this larger Um, and it's completely customizable so we can actually manage our space a lot easier that way and uh, we still get the ability to add widgets hey there we go um, using this customization kind of a mission control panel here and uh, it's kind of the same widgets that we got last time um, Okay, here are all of our applications, 
and uh, if we want to add anything, all we have to do is tap on it and drag it to any of the ho any of the home screens here, um, and there it goes. Um, also, we can change wallpapers from right here. It's really easy. Back home menu. Um, buttons are right there. The other thing that's changed is we've also maximized our um, recently used applications capability here. So we have everything that we have just done but a large scrolling list of it rather than just a few things. Um, 3.1 adds more of that and that's pretty nifty. Let's check out the books here because there are probably going to be a lot of readers and um, we're in Alice in Wonderland. Nice page graphics. It wasn't the refinement of the HTC flyer, but, you know, it still won me over. And here is Movie Studio. Um, this is basically an editing program. The only problem with having an editing program on a tablet is that it possesses nowhere near the processing power you need to edit videos. Um, so if you're going to try to do high-speed scrubbing or real-time scrubbing, forget about it. Uh, found this program virtually useless. Here is Quick Office, and this is excellent because we could create or work on our own Word, Excel, or PowerPoint files here. So let's open up a an Excel file here, and we also get a. Uh, I mean, look at that. That is just bingo bango. We also get a rich text editor. And here's our rich text editor with the ability to uh, insert images from our gallery. And here's our gallery, by the way. Not bad, not too shabby. Well, we want Lucy in our in our piece that we're writing. So there's Lucy. We could select the size. We want a big picture of Lucy. That's what we want. Okay. There's Lucy. For browsing, this thing is great, and that's its reason for being anyway, internet browsing. Um, it's quick and responsive, Mikey-like, and uh, flash content is not a problem, and we'll show you an example here. So no problem playing videos. Scrolling through galleries. In a violently brewing cauldron of tablets, something like the Samsung 10.1 might be overlooked in this market. Especially when you look at tablets like the HTC Flyer with its stylus and all of the wonderful things it can do. When you look at the T-Mobile G Slate and its innovative interface and 1080p video that is actually good to look at. And there's also the Zoom that gives you an HDMI terminal and it offers a micro SD card slot. It has an aluminum body. In my eyes, the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 is a good tab but it's just good when you compare it to the competition. And uh, if you want to see the full review on the 10.1, be sure to go to infosyncworld.com for my full conclusion and analysis. Until next time, I'm Mike Perlman. I'll see you guys later.